All right, we're all set, so you can take perfect. it away. Perfect, perfect. Well, good morning, everyone. Happy to be here. Um, been an interesting 24 hours, so thank you for your time today. I appreciate that. Um, wanted to come today and say, first of all, I'm very excited to be one of your partners uh, in home warranty there at Keller Williams in Bergen County. Um, just wanted to come today, you know, don't want to take up too much of your time, but just kind of explain, you know, uh, what's great about having a home warranty, what sets 210 apart now that we are one of your partners, and, uh, you know, answer any questions at the end of end of the presentation as well. So I will try to make this as painless as possible. Um, and like I said, I will answer questions at the end. Maybe some of your, your questions will be answered throughout the presentation. So please hold off if you can. Um, and, then, and then we'll get started. So let me share my screen. We should be good now. All right, let me see. There we go. All righty. So we've got a couple different sections today. Um, like I said, thank you again for taking the time out to, to be part of this presentation. So really um, trying to go over, you know, what's covered underneath the home warranty, why you or your clients may need to utilize a home warranty and things along those lines, and then really what sets 210 apart and, and what's the nitty gritty, what's covered underneath the home warranty plan. So just some basic information. I mean, obviously we all know, um, you know, the most significant purchase anybody more than likely is going to make is a home. You know, the most emotional investment, the most money put in will be a house. Um, so homeowners can expect to spend, you know, between one and 3% of their home's purchase price in maintenance or upkeep every year if, um, in, in their house. With that, a lot of people don't understand the difference between homeowner insurance and having a home warranty service agreement. Um, the way that I like to put it in perspective is that your homeowner's insurance is really there to cover the damage or loss in a home. So a great example would be having a pipe leak, you know, that comes shooting through the wall. And let's say that family is on vacation for three days. They come back, they see all of this water damage their homeowner's insurance is gonna take care of that secondary damage that is done to the house, but it will not take care of the pipe leak itself, which could run thousands of dollars to replace that pipe. That's where the home warranty is gonna come into play. We're gonna take care of the actual mechanical failure. So we will come in and we will repair that pipe. Um, and so it's a great add-on to having your homeowner's insurance uh, if you have a home warranty. And just to put it in perspective, some average retail replacement costs, I mean, it ranges anywhere between $600 all the way up to 5,000, sometimes more uh, in a house. And, you know, again, having the home warranty is just there as that extra layer of budget protection for your clients. Value. So what's in it for you guys? Of course, right? Um, so first of all, redu uh, reduce negotiations during the transaction. So what's great about having a home warranty on one of your listings is that it does reduce those negotiations. So, uh, you know, more times than not, there's going to be a home inspection. And a lot of times that comes up as end of useful life or please repair this, replace that. If there's a home warranty on the house, some of those issues can be covered. Of course, if there's a mechanical failure, but if it's end of useful life, and let's say that the buyer is asking for a concession of a certain amount or they want something replaced, you can say to that buyer, hey, we're giving you a one-year home warranty at closing, and it's going to provide coverage for those items for you in that year. Um, so instead of taking those concessions, you have the home warranty to utilize as a benefit to that potential buyer. Decrease post-closing uh, disputes. Again, having the home warranty instead of them calling you, uh, the buyer calling you or calling their agent, uh, they have the home warranty to utilize that. 
And then lower errors and emissions uh, insurance premiums. If there is a home warranty provided on that property and there is an after settlement dispute, a lot of times that will come up, uh, heaven forbid you go uh, into some kind of uh, legal action with a buyer, judge will say, was there a home warranty provided? And if there was, you might not be uh, liable for that. Protection for your sellers, protection for your buyers. Um, of course, standing out is something that you always wanna do. I know the market's crazy right now. It seems like things are just selling like hotcakes. <laughs> um, if it's priced right and it's in pretty good shape, it's probably gonna sell pretty, pretty quickly. But the way that I always put it in perspective, for, for seller policies of having, having a home warranty. Let's say you go to a dealership and you're looking at a Honda Civic. It's two years old, it's red, it's got 25,000 miles on it, all the bells and whistles, it's priced right. And then you go down the street, you see the same exact car, same exact price, same exact bells and whistles. That one has a warranty. The one that you looked at originally does not. Which one do you pick? one with a warranty, right? So, I mean, that's a no brainer. Uh, so the same thing can come into play when buyers are looking at homes and maybe you are one of four that are very comparable in a neighborhood or a couple neighborhoods right there. And they pick the one with the warranty because it has the peace of mind there. Uh, reduce closing delays, we already talked about that. And obviously budget protection for unexpected breakdowns. I think that's important to note uh, because although a seller may feel that their home is gonna sell fairly quickly, especially in today's market, what seller wants to put more money into a house they're no longer gonna be living in? None, right? I mean, I wouldn't if I was selling my house. I wouldn't wanna replace a refrigerator. I wouldn't wanna replace an HVAC system. So if you have the home warranty on there, it's gonna protect them during the listing period should something break down. And then of course it's, sorry, that's my, that's my doorbell. <laughs> uh, and then it's gonna protect the buyer and give them that peace of mind after the fact. Um, and then of course, protection for buyers, budget protection for unexpected repair or replacement costs. And it's again, that peace of mind for the buyer in their purchase, that most emotional um, purchase that they're making that they're gonna be able to utilize the home warranty uh, you know, for anything that, that may come up. And what's another thing to put into perspective is that the buyer is gonna be utilizing the systems differently than the previous owner of the home. So although that dishwasher may only be five years old, six years old, maybe okay, maybe the old owners only used it once a week. Now the new buyer's using it three times a week. It's used differently. That system is not used to that. It could break down because of that. And obviously things aren't made to the same quality as they used to be. Uh, so, you know, to have that extra layer of protection, you know, with the home warranty is, is essential for buyers in this day and age. So understanding the home warranty process. So a home warranty covers uh, eligible systems and appliances in new and pre-owned homes that fail due to normal wear and tear. So if you think of those big ticket items like the heating, the air conditioning, the hot water heater, the way that I really like to put it in perspective is that we cover your peach. So your plumbing, electrical, appliances, cooling, and heating. Peach. So it's a corny way to remember it, but people tend to like corny. Right? <laughs> um, so a home warranty costs significantly less than an, obviously an expensive out of pair, uh, out of pocket repair. Um, so on average, a home warranty is between 400 and 700 dollars a year. We'll get into pricing a little bit later on today. Um, in the training. Uh, homeowners place on average 1.4 service requests per year. That's actually gone up. Uh, obviously, in today's uh, world, COVID and being at home, we went from about 5% of people uh, working from home to about 85%. 
Uh, so we've seen about a 30% increase in claims since, uh, since America reopened back in June. Um, more people are putting in claims, seeing value and having the home warranty. And then obviously there is a service fee, just like your homeowner's insurance has a deductible. We also have a deductible and we'll go over that later today. So in order to utilize the home warranty, so systems must be in good and safe working order uh, during or for the inception date of the warranty, they must fail due to a normal wear and tear. So it can't be like an act of God or um, somebody putting something down the, putting a Barbie down the toilet or this or that it has to be a failure due to normal wear and tear. It must be located in the residential property and obviously be included underneath the home warranty. So how it works. So you put the home warranty on the house, whether it be a seller or a buyer. So purchase of the service agreement, you would contact us. That is the most important part. Please contact us before any technician is called out to the home. We will dispatch the technician from our list uh, to come out to the house. Mm. Service fee is collected. And then we determine, okay, first of all, is it covered? Wonderful it is. Then we will determine, okay, can we repair the system first? We will try to repair, or if not, we move to system replacement at that point. Um, so just depends on what needs to happen with that system. And then hopefully at the end of it all, we have a happily serviced home. So why choose us? I know that we're not your only partner at Keller Williams, um, but I hope to show you guys some of the differences between you know, 210 and the other partner there. So a little bit about us, um, we cover over $6 million, or 6 million homes. Um, we've been in the industry for over 40 years. So 210 HBW uh, home buyers warranty, we're not just for buyers, but we actually started in new construction home warranties. Um, so that's why it was home buyer's warranty since it was just new construction. We moved over to the resale division about 35 years ago and have built that up. Um, but we are there for you to utilize either on your resale homes or like I said, we do have the new construction home warranty as well. We pay out over 97.5 of claims and you can see that we've got uh, great star ratings uh, throughout the industry as well. So these are some of our differentiators that um, we include in our program. So the even if service guarantee, the welcome home lock and hardware, our appliance discount program, as well as our HVAC protection. So what's the one, two, three appliance guarantee? So this is included for both of your sellers and buyers. What's great about this program because all home warranty companies will repair a system before replacement, always. With ours, if we have to repair it more than twice, we will then move to system replacement even if we can repair it a third time. So that's a differentiator in our program compared to others out there. Um, like I said, most will just repair, repair, repair. If we have to move to system replacement right away, of course we will, but we will never do more than two repairs on the same system. Now keep in mind that doesn't include a recall. So if it is the same failure and it's for whatever reason our first repair did not take, that is a recall on that same repair. It has to be two separate failures on that system. And then we will move to system replacement at that time. Our welcome home lock and hardware coverage. This is pretty neat. So other home warranty companies have rekey um, services where you know they will send out a technician, a locksmith and rekey the home. With ours, it's a little bit different. It's included for all buyers and it's up to $150 in reimbursement for either locksmith service or purchase of new locks. 
So they don't have to call us beforehand. We do not send out a technician. They can use whoever they want, or if they want to go to Lowe's or Home Depot, purchase new locks, simply just have to give us the receipt within a 45 day time period of closing. And we will reimburse up to that $150 um, for the rekey service or purchase of new locks. And I also have, as part of um, the marketing materials, a great certificate that you can utilize for your buyers that explains the welcome home lock and hardware coverage. And it kind of just looks like it's coming from you personally as an added gift to having the home warranty. Um, so we want, we want everybody to see the value in having a home warranty and not everybody's going to utilize it uh, in the time period that they have it in terms of a claim. So that's why we have now added this welcome home lock and hardware so that everybody can see some kind of value because hopefully they are changing their locks. <laughs> uh, some other things that differentiate us uh, would be, so we talked about the one, two, three appliance guarantee. Um, we also talked about the welcome home lock and hardware coverage. We include the refrigerator and washer dryer as well for both the sellers and the buyers. Another big one would be unlimited refrigerant. So if you're not aware, all of the guidelines have changed around refrigerant. So that's part of the air conditioning system. And the regulations are a little bit different and now certain refrigerants are no longer in production. So they're a little bit harder to get, they're more expensive to get. Uh, a lot of home warranty companies will put in a limitation on the amount they will pay out for refrigerant. It's R410A. And that usually is $10, $20 per pound. And the average going cost of a pound of refrigerant retail wise is about $60, 60 to $100. It depends on who you go with. With 210, we include unlimited refrigerant. So there is no cap on that. It is included for both your sellers and your buyers underneath the plan. So there would not be an out of pocket response expense if we had to replace any kind of refrigerant or refill a system. Uh, another differentiator would be our even if service guarantee. So if we send out a technician and it is not something we cover for, we hate to see that, of course, but if it is not something we cover for, we will reimburse the client for their deductible. So their service fee that they pay to the technician because uh, the tech did still come out to the house. He still made a service request, uh, just as if you did retail, there would be a service fee for that. We will reimburse the client for their service fee. And then our other big one would be our Supreme coverage. Um, many home warranty companies take a tier approach where, okay, for $500, you get this. For $600, you get that. For $700, you get the best. For ours, we have Supreme for all. So we don't have a different tier program approach. It is the same coverage across the board for both your sellers and your buyers. So less confusion, you're already explaining so much to either your sellers or your buyers. And I understand the home warranty can be a little confusing at times. So instead of that tier approach, it's one plan for all. And now I want to share with you, I want everybody to see our brochure, of course. They are available in the office, as well as your online forms. But this is us. So the 210 Home Buyers Warranty. So just remember the, the red, the green, the blue, of course. Um, I think the best thing to be utilizing, and I know it's a little small. Let me see if I can make this a bit bigger. There we go. The best thing to be utilizing would be the back of the brochure or the last page of the PDF. This gives a quick coverage highlight of what's included for either your buyer or your seller. Um, like I said, the coverage is pretty much the same across the board for both. There's just a few differentiators, just like that welcome home lock and hardware. Obviously it's just for the buyer since they're the ones changing the locks. And then for your seller, to have their air conditioning covered, it is a $50 option. 
In terms of pricing, you'll see our pricing right here for your buyers. So we have two different deductible choices. That's what they pay to the technician when he comes out to the house. Uh, it's either the 539 and that has a $189 service fee or the 639 and that has an $89 service fee. What's great for your sellers is that our pricing, as you can see, is complimentary. So what that means during the listing period that there is technically no purchase necessary to have a home warranty on one of your listings with 210. So as long as it's enrolled in our system, we give coverage during the listing period and they do not have to purchase it at settlement for the buyer. Of course, we like that. We want it to transfer over to the buyer, but it truly is risk-free for your seller to have this coverage during the listing period for their plumbing, electrical appliances, and heating. And like I said, the air conditioning is that $50 option uh, for your sellers. Now, if it does transfer over to the buyer at closing, that's where it will go over to this 539 pricing. So the seller will always be enrolled at the lower plan cost, and they will also get the lower service fee of the $89. And then here we have our application page. Um, pretty simple, buyer or seller. You have your single family home pricing, condo and townhouse are a little bit less expensive, a $20 discount there. So when you are enrolling a home warranty with us, you would simply fill this out and you have a couple different ways to enroll the home warranty. You can either call our 800 number and have it enrolled. You can email our agent services hotline um, or you can go to our website and create a portal where you can enroll all of your warranties, look at past invoices, past claims, this, that, and the other, and everybody is already in our system. Um, so you would simply go to register an account, type in your name and your office, and it will auto-populate you uh, in our system, and then you can simply do your enrollments that way, or you can always contact me and I'm happy to do the enrollment as well. One thing to note, since you do have partners in home warranty now, um, what you offer to one, you have to offer to all. So at the bottom of this, you will see an acceptance of purchase of coverage or a waiver. If your client does not want to have the home warranty, it is important to have this waiver signed off on. Like I said, what you offer to one, you have to offer to all now that you have a partner. And if they don't want a warranty, have it signed off, even if they want to think about it, have them sign off that they decline coverage at that time. What's important about that is that sometimes it's out of sight, out of mind. Heaven forbid, two weeks down the line after you take the listing, they're talking with their neighbor about their hot water heater that just decided to start leaking. And the neighbor goes, well, did your agent ever tell you about a home warranty? They're gonna conveniently forget <laughs> that you ever spoke about a home warranty. And if you don't have the waiver signed off on, that's where that e &O insurance comes into play. That's where there could be a dispute you know, with the courts. And something that the judge will ask is, did you offer a home warranty? If you have this signed off that, yes, I offered it to them, they declined coverage at the time, that protects you. That's your protection. So it's something that you should be explaining to all sellers and all buyers, regardless of age of the home. Yes, I understand a 15-year-old home with mechanicals that are just that same age makes more sense to have a home warranty than a brand new construction house. Um, but since we are one of your partners now is something that has to be offered to all. So that's just something to keep in mind and just make sure that that is signed off on. If it's acceptance of coverage, of course, just fill it out, send it to us, we'll get it enrolled. Just make sure that you get the confirmation from us. Uh, so assume that it's not enrolled until you get that confirmation. And like I said, you can always send it to me as well. Let's go. Back here. 
And I know I just threw a lot of information at you guys. <laughs> so uh, clear as mud, right? Um, but what questions can I answer for anyone? If there are any. Any uh, questions for here. Bill? I got a question for you. Sure. Um, you had mentioned a two times replacement, um, so repair, and then it goes into replacement. What if they don't want it replaced? If they don't, we can stick with the repair. That's not a problem. So if they would rather us repair the system, I, we will bump out either option. So we'll say to them, okay, if you want it repaired, this is what we will do. Or if you want to take the replacement, this is what the replacement would be. So yes, so we still give them the option, of course. Okay, I appreciate that, thanks. Yeah, sure. And a good thing to note on any approved claim is that we always allow a cash out. So even if let's say it's the opposite of that scenario where it's only the first repair and that homeowner says, you know what? I just wanna replace this, for example, dishwasher. We will say, okay, our repair cost is let's say $250. We will cash you out on that amount and you can take it and you know replace it you know on your own. So that's the opposite side of things too. Okay, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Not a problem. Any other questions for Bill? Well, all my contact information is here and my apologies that the, the invite did not have my right email on there, um, but this is the correct one. It was missing the I on there. So um, if anybody has any questions, I'm always happy to help. And same thing goes, if, if you're not comfortable fully explaining the home warranty or one of your clients gets into the nitty gritty of, well, I had a hot water heater that sprung a leak at three o'clock in the morning on a Saturday one time. What do you think the home warranty company would do? <laughs> That's a lot. You're here to sell homes. That's what you're here to do. So if it is any of those kind of questions, please feel free to give them my information. I'm happy to speak with them directly. I am not a pushy salesperson whatsoever. At the end of the day, I wanna make sure that your client is protected if it makes sense for them. Um, if not, that's okay too. Uh, but I will always keep you in the loop of any questions that I have uh, between you and a client, of course. And I just put your contact information in the chat. So if anybody's Wonderful. looking for that. Okay, I'm calling because we are putting together our Perfect. Well, I'm uh, happy to be on board. And, um, you know, all of the brochures are in the office. My, my card is there. And like I said, we're, we're on your online forms. So if anybody thinks of anything, reach out to me anytime. Happy to help. And um, I look forward to, to being your partner. Thanks so much. Thank you. I appreciate it.